Why do you think you've not got the blend then for a promotion within squad, given that you've, you know, you're uh, saying you've spent the investment in the team? I think the combination is that, firstly, we have had ill luck, but I, I will not go into sort of uh, say, saying too much about that. Secondly, it's probably we've tried too hard at throwing money. Uh, that you know, managers have come with the knowledge they have got money available, and recruitment has not been successful for us. So it's a funny thing. I think uh, the benefit of having money to spend, possibly because Rin League won, has meant it's put pressure on managers to spend money, and the recruitments we've got at the moment aren't achieving it for the club. And that's when I say at the moment, I'm also going back the last three seasons. No one can deny the number of players that we have brought into Sheffield United. The fact that they haven't done well is not that there haven't been a real effort put into A, fund it, and B, recruit in a way that should have brought success. Um, we've got close to it, because you know we've had three playoffs already, and you can say one season we're desperately, desperately unlucky not to get automatic for ill luck reasons. But you know, no one can say. Anyone who, who does say that we're not putting money into support and manager is really it's a silly statement. One of your co-owners previously went on the record saying that this would be game-changing investment when the Prince got involved. That hasn't been the case, has it? Uh, it's been planned to be the case, as we speak now. It, ha it hasn't been the case. And I ask you to recognise that it's, we've got pretty close to the game-changer because that comes with a first promotion back to the Championship. So it hasn't as, as a, at this moment. Um, how much have you spent then? I mean, that's the, what the fans want to know. How much money has gone in? I believe you're bringing out a statement. Can you tell the fans exactly what the investment has been? Uh, you're talking about this season? In general. How much have you put in? How much has the Well, my, my family have put in about £90 million into Sheffield United, but that obviously is over a very long period. Uh, my partner, Prince Abdullah, who's a wonderful guy, who's just as frustrated as, as any supporter is, uh, he's put in £15 million so far during this season. Both of us have put in eight million in total. Mm. We're not a self-sustainable club. We're not a selling club. We do not sell players unless players wish to go. We have one aim, that is promotion, firstly back to the Championship, they're on the Premiership. It's a written statement between the Prince and myself. Fact. Because that is a, a charge that has been levied at this board, that then you've sold Rob, players, Rob, please look Murphy, at the players we, Harry Maguire. Rob, please look at the players we've brought on board. If Harry, if Jamie Murphy want to go, as a League One club, we cannot stop it. Now you tell me, any fan, if they came and sat in this seat, if Brighton come along for Jamie Murphy and Brighton are top half the championship club who can offer far, far more and Jamie's ambitious, what would you do if you were Jamie? That's my question to your that's, good self. That's the decision he has to make. Have you spent the Jamie Murphy money that you received? Have I spent it? Has, has, it, been club, spent, has it been reinvested back no, in the I team? I haven't spent it. The club spent it wrong. It, it has been spent then? The club has spent it. Of course it's been spent. Mm. Our wage bill, if it's not the highest in League One, it's second only to Wigan. Well, I think Wigan was still under the last year of their, you know, their, their uh, uh, money parachute, parachute payment from the old Premier League. Mm. Which goes to suggest if you have got the biggest or possibly the second biggest budget that the team has failed this year, hasn't it, that it's ninth? That's why we're disappointed and frustrated. Everyone connected with the club, including all our supporters. We're all, we're all thinking the same. It's, it's frustrating. But we're still in with a very good chance of a playoff spot. Mm. But, you know, take frustrations to one side and support the club. And that, to me, is pretty simple. You've got to take away the frustrations this afternoon when we start in knowing that a victory will get us ever closer to a playoff spot. I know we've been dreadfully unsuccessful at playoffs, but not, let's not despair. Maybe Lady Luck will turn towards the Blades having fortune and getting to a playoff and winning one.